Um, also super emotional. That's definitely been something from the beginning. <laughs> Pregnancy emotions are a whole other thing. Water was tasting like there's mothballs in it. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're on a great day, great night. My name is Brianna, and today I'm gonna be going over the first trimester, how things have gone, um, different details of things that I've gone through and all that. I guess I'm wearing the same thing as last week. I'm filming back to back videos and I don't care because today is just gonna be the day. <laughs> um, so going over signs, symptoms, how everything is. Um, before we get this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, push the bell notification, and let's get into this. Um, so it's been really interesting. So we had a miscarriage right before this, and with this one as well, um, five days um, post ovulation, I had these like weird emotional spells. Um, I've never heard of anyone else, and it was really early to feel any signs, but um, I did kind of feel um, something. I'm trying to think back. I would say about like week, well, it was week four when I finally started actually feeling um, pregnancy signs. I mean, not finally. With the first pregnancy, I felt them a little bit earlier on. Um, so it was week four uh, when I started finally feeling um, like pregnancy symptoms. Um, Week four, right about the start, I got started getting nausea. We were camping and the nausea hit and I was definitely a miserable camp trip. We ended up coming back early and I got sunburned really bad on top of that. Um, so it was not um, fun at all. Um, and the nausea kind of slowly kept getting worse and worse and worse because at first it was just like slightly there. I could still eat, do whatever I wanted. Um, but definitely kind of getting worse. Um, other signs I was having early on, exhausted. Um, I was also having um, a hard time catching my breath, and uh, I'm still, I am definitely get tired and stuff. Um, but the deep breath, I don't know if it was necessarily was like related to pregnancy or for some of my throat issues I've talked about um, before. Um, definitely have had to use the bathroom a lot. Um, I drink a lot of water in general, but on top of being pregnant, then I've definitely been drinking a whole lot more and going to the bathroom a whole lot more and waking up several times in the night to go. So it's been great. Um, I've also had, um, since like week four, um, a cough. Um, me, I talked to my woman and wife, we have a couple of different, um, ideas of maybe what it could be, but nothing really conclusive quite yet. Um, I'll let you guys kind of know if we figure that out. Um, and it's not just like a quick like cough. It has been like full on like hacking. Um, I was even at my last midwife appointment and they did a, um, a urine test and I'm not sick, which is, I never felt like I was sick. I just had this cough. Um, on top of the nausea, and it's been, sl it kind of slowly kept getting worse, it was harder to get to bed. Like, I used to be able to wake up at six, and it's just been so hard. My body just will not wake up in the morning. It's super hard to get up. Um, so most mornings, I don't even get ready because I kind of just get up and get right into work. Um, and luckily, I work from home and can kind of either, I work from bed sometimes, or um, I have a camp chair that I normally work in that reclines, and so that's helped out a whole lot as well. Because sometimes with um, my neck issues, it's hard for me to lay in bed and get in the right position that's not going to push my neck um, out of alignment. And it caused some like, so time before, my spine has been pushing into my throat, which is great when you're pregnant, and as on to everything else that just is miserable. Um, also super emotional. That's definitely been something from the beginning. <laughs> Pregnancy emotions are a whole other thing and have definitely been very, very rough. Um, Logan is very patient, which is awesome. And sometimes he just knows he needs to hold me because I'm just emotional and I just, I need some comfort and extra love. So I was talking about um, the nausea and it started from week four, but it was definitely bearable. And then I'd say about week six, it got really, really bad. And I was having a super, super hard time eating anything. Um, I believe it was week six, too. Um, we were doing the craft show. And 
luckily Logan had taken time off work so he was able to help set up and do all that and then it was a two-day thing it was a Friday and a Saturday Saturday I didn't even go there until later because I was so sick um, we actually made a lot of friends in the booth next to us and they all knew it was I was like I never I was never throwing up but I was like so sick pretty much I was eating um, pickles which is actually helping and then I went a little bit with the nausea and then I was just eating like I think I got a burrito down and some fries but it was like weird cuz I had a super hard time I was just super weak and pretty much just sat there um, so I'd say week six and seven were the hardest to get foods down I think especially trying to transition into like the nausea being that bad I felt like after me necessarily wasn't totally better but I was starting to figure out more food that I could eat and kind of just working on eating even when I wasn't feeling great or before it was kind of like I'd would persistently like I would not that I would avoid well I definitely would avoid eating because I was so sick and then it made it worse because then you have stomach pains um so I kind of was starting to get more of a handle on it I would really say one of the worst problems though that was making everything worse was toothpaste um the toothpaste I'd originally been on was like too sweet so it was leaving a sweet flavor in my mouth um that would just make me nauseous and so um I ended up switching and then that one was too bitter. I tried another one. I've actually done like four different toothpaste since being pregnant. Um, just trying to get the right flavor down. It's been really, really rough. And something that's not too bitter, not too sweet. And I finally think I found something. We'll see how long it lasts. Maybe we'll try more through this pregnancy. I don't know. Let me know below. Uh, like if you've been pregnant. Like do you have you had toothpaste things? Do you like switch it up or whatever? I don't know. Let me know below. The things I found to help with nausea, so number one, um, pickles, pickle juice was really, really helping um, for a while. Well, it wasn't really helping, but it had started to help me to get some foods down, um, as I was mentioning before. Um, so I was taking that, and then it kind of wasn't, and I don't know if that's just because I ran out of one brand and I tried another brand and it just wasn't as good. Um, and the other thing that actually brought a whole lot of relief was um, I have some ginger lemon pills. I'll put those down below because I got those off Amazon. And those made like a night and day difference. They were awesome. And then they stopped working and so I kind of just had to live with it again. Um, but there's something that like while I'm having them, I don't feel nauseous and I'll take them still here and there. Um, I'm hoping I'm out of like the morning seconds for the last two days. I've been feeling relatively better, like not totally awesome but definitely like been improvement from what things were um and I think a lot of the balance of being pregnant um is finding foods that I could eat um would change up day by day hour by hour and if I could find a food I could eat several days and it was nice because I wouldn't have to keep thinking of something um some of the worst foods so beef and pork um, I was realizing I was getting really sick up from, and my mom did that when she was pregnant, so that was an easy thing to just, well, it hasn't been easy. Um, but when I also did that, chicken was just, like, in my mind, so I, like, couldn't have chicken for a while. I was only eating fish, which is great, because you need meat. Um, and I also have not been eating eggs. Um, the eggs, I've been kind of paranoid from. I hadn't ate them because of the high prices for a while. And then it, with our last pregnancy, I had, we'd finally gotten some, they were on sale, and I had ate some eggs, and then two days later we'd miscarried. And there's nothing scientifically, there was nothing proving that or saying that that happened, but in my mind it was just like one of those things, just like, that's a coincidence. And so I wasn't eating eggs for a long time. I actually, within the last week, um, I finally have been starting to eat them again, so that's good. Um, but it's been kind of hard to get protein down. Um, I have ate a lot of burritos, so that's been my big protein, and um, was from those. Um, so definitely foods have been um, a hard thing. I've only thrown up twice, and it was during week 10. Um, and some people are like, oh, that's so great. But honestly, I always say I preferred when I threw up because I was feeling so sick before and then I threw up and suddenly I could just eat whatever I wanted. And so it was really nice. Where I just feel like I've always been constantly nauseous pretty much through my whole pregnancy so far. 
from morning to night I felt like mornings um, were pretty hard I'm trying to get out of bed once I was up it was kind of debatable and then evenings it would suddenly hit and be like the worst and so honestly throwing up almost brought some relief um, within that because there was definitely times where I was just as sick and never threw up um, the coughing didn't help because you start coughing and then you're like needing to throw up at the same time so that was really really rough um, so like, I don't want to be throwing up constantly, but it was kind of nice those two times I did because it, like, suddenly was, like, relieving, if you know what I mean. So, kind of the constant nausea was definitely, like, really, really hard. Um, other symptoms I've had is <laughs> I've been super hot. Either I'm, like, freezing cold or I'm, like, super hot. Um, I am definitely someone who I like to sleep with layers in bed um, and just be tucked underneath the blankets and literally have to sleep. Like, we have the house at 66. And I am like half my body's out because I am just sweaty and super hot as I sleep, which has never been me. And it's so weird. Usually I hate any part of my body out. Um, so that has been a weird sign symptom sort of thing. Um, and then the last symptom, um, not a symptom, but thing that's been like kind of crappy is water. Um, probably about two weeks ago, so about week 10, um, I started feeling like super, or like water was suddenly like gross. So I used to put ice in the water and that really, really helped. And I started just tasting nasty. And so I took, I stopped using that. And then the water was tasting like there's mothballs in it. Um, I think our water is on like a well right now and it is just gross. So I was just, I was realizing I was just like wasn't drinking water. So we now have, I'm a Brita, um, air purifier not air water purifier um thing and that's been helping it's not my like favorite flavor but it's like better than mothballs if you know what i mean um so i'll drink it it doesn't like hit the spot that i'm wanting water to hit but hopefully it will get a little better because waters you need water you need to be drinking a whole lot of water um to get things down um overall like I don't know to compare it to everyone else. I don't know pregnant to like really another pregnancy. Like I was pregnant for four weeks before. Um, and everyone's different and how you feel is different. Um, I would say it's been pretty rough and that's just because we had a super busy summer and just these big events after big events and I just couldn't breathe and every single moment that I was like feeling slightly good, I was pretty much forced to do things for these big events. Um, instead of just being able to relax and enjoy pregnancy and I, I feel very relieved because um, the last thing was my brother's wedding um, it was last weekend and so I finally fly it I can breathe and like relax and don't have anything else stressful um, planned so I can finally start like doing fun things um, and things I want. There's a lot of, I want to make some baby clothes. I have a lot of different patterns for those. Um, we have um, like a rocking chair um, that I need to reupholster the cushions for. Um, I have like toys I want to make. So I have a lot of like baby projects. Um, if you guys want me to just let me know and I can film a lot of those. Um, make tutorials on those. So let me know if you guys want to see those and I will make those videos. But yeah, um, I would say it's definitely been rough, um, but it's totally worth it because I, I, I want my baby and I'm so excited. Um, and I think everything's a little miracle and I've definitely had a lot of blessings, even though this has been a hard first trimester. Um, there's definitely been um, a lot of blessings in between and help and different stuff. Um, still, my favorite moment is like, I was, I've been so sick and it's just been hard for me to keep up with the kitchen, especially because it stinks. Um, that's another thing. I've had to make sure the windows are open to help kind of get fresh air in. But my sister came down one day and helped clean it up and it was like such a big miracle. Um, we've now switched over to like disposable plates and bowls and cups because it just kind of helps with the dishes and the smell. Um, and until things get better, that's going to how it's going to be. Um, hopefully not too long because I don't really like using them. I like to wash stuff or like using reusable thing like dishes because they're just cuter but yeah um here's my little synopsis overview it was probably jumbled i tried to make it kind of organized but there was so much information 
and it probably was still all over the place. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, push the bell notification, and if you could, share this video with two people. It would really help me and help this video grow. And let me know what other content you want below, and I will see you guys next week. Hope you have a great day, great night. God bless.